Well, the breakfast you're eating probably is not from Central Texas. Austin City leaders, though, are working on a plan to try and change that. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Sally Hernandez. And I'm Tom Miller. We have KXAN's Dylan McKim joining us in studio. And Dylan, you talked to Austin's food policy manager, and he's pretty worried about this. Yeah, he's very worried about this. He said as the population grows, more farmland is being lost to development, leading to a greater population and a smaller amount of local food production. Our new big high Behind a thick canopy in East Austin, I know, I know. A group of volunteers tend to the land. Get our little plant babies going so we can get them in the ground. The 35,000 pounds of vegetables grown on this four and a half acre farm every year will be shared with people with limited food access. Let's go in the greenhouse. Francis Davini runs this urban farm called Urban Roots. It's one of nine remaining urban farms in Central Texas, down from decades ago. Austinites get most of their food from outside of the county. A study by the city in 2022 showed just 0.06% of food consumed here is produced here. Davini wants that number higher. The less food has to travel to get to you, the more nutritious the food is because it loses its nutritional value over time. The city does too. We're just simply tumbling forward towards a future that unfortunately doesn't include local agriculture at this point. Edwin Marty is Austin's food policy manager. He says while the population grows, our food growth is stagnant. Austin is, on average, losing more than 16 acres of farmland a day to new developments. As we see these continued growth um, explosions happening all across Austin, urban farms are often a target for development. Marty and his team are creating a food plan, a vision to create better food stability in Austin, including raising local food production. Davini and her team are hanging on to their land. They bought it more than a year ago, and she's encouraging everyone to try farming even at the smallest level. Grow one potted plant on your windowsill that provides jalapeno peppers. That creates a connection for each individual person to their food. Dylan, you talked about this, mm -hmm. this new food plan. Who's going to oversee that and how's that going to work? Yeah, so it's a joint combination between the county and the city to really create this food plan. And they have just officially created their committee, our community advisory committee, the 25 member team. And right now they're trying to focus on the top three to four priorities of what to focus on in this food plan. Of course, they're actually asking for anyone in the community to provide any input on a, uh, a, a food survey on a website they have created. We'll find that link on our website, kxan.com, to search for this story. Are you it's... growing the uh, jalapenos in your wind? <laughs> Not the jalapeno yet. poppers. I tried to grow like a bell pepper one time, and I went on vacation, and I was like, oh, Not happening. Didn't have a, pl a plant babysitter, I, you know? Yeah. Don't I was like, hate uh, on the jalapenos. I mean, you could use them in margaritas, That's Kristen. right. That's true. That's right. The problem is, if that's the only thing I'm growing, that's the only thing I left to is eat. Is it a problem? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. I kind of like where your mind's at, Sal. At 6 a.m. on a Friday, we're thinking of jalapeno. Hey, it's Friday. 